I'm Shelby Hasher. And I'm Hunter Wood. I'm Mel Barnwell. I'm Tariq Palmer. And we're from Seminole Ridge Community High School. I'm the girl trapped in the bubble. And I'm the boy stuck outside. We hope you enjoy our short film, The Girl in the Bubble. Shortcuts. Short film. It all started on a Saturday. I had just gotten home. Sorry, Julie. I was busy. I think you have the wrong number. Oh, you're not Julie. No, I'm Peyton. Oh, sorry. I was trying to call my girlfriend. I must have typed in the number. <coughs> no problem. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Is that blood? Oh, yeah, sorry. It's gross. I know. I feel like a person coughing up blood means they're definitely not okay. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's just my chronic bronchitis acting up. I've heard of that. How long have you been sick? It's been coming and going since I was around five. Wait, how old are you? 16. You've been sick for 11 years? Yep. Hey, shouldn't you be calling your girlfriend? All right, yeah. I should probably go. Um, can I call you again tomorrow? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. What do you mean? I can't go outside because I get sick so easily. I'm a girl in the bubble. When I asked Peyton if I could call her, I meant it. I couldn't stop thinking about it, her, the girl in the bubble. Hey babe, I gotta go. No, I promised today that I'd call Peyton. Funny story, I pressed the wrong number and I ended up getting Peyton instead of you. She has chronic bronchitis. I figured I could keep her company. She seems lonely. Um, yeah, okay. Nothing's gonna happen. Bye. Oh, uh, sorry, I was eating a salad earlier. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, what kind of salad do you have? <clears throat> uh, you don't really care. It's fine. I spend my days alone. Trust me, I'll listen to any sound of human <clears throat> voice. <clears throat> well, um, okay, then today I had a pomegranate salad with walnuts. And um, the way I usually eat salads is, like, without any dressing. We talked about that salad for an hour. <laughs> and it was the best conversation I had in weeks. I started calling Peyton every day, and we just talk and talk about anything and everything from her life before the bubble, as she called it, to whatever Julie was mad about that day. Our phone calls were the best part of my day, though. I found myself just opening my computer to see if she was online, even if I was on the phone with Julie. Wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Oh, um... Yeah, um, my, my mom just uh, called me. I have to go um, shave my cat. Um, yeah, bye. You don't have a cat. Well, maybe I just adopted one. No, you could have just finished your conversation and then declined the call. <clears throat> no, please. She would have gone on about the cheer squad for another hour. I knew I shouldn't have lied to Julie like that. I knew I should have broken up with her, but prom was coming up and Peyton said I wasn't allowed to go and ruin her prom. She said that even though she couldn't go to prom, she wanted everyone that could go to prom to go. And it wasn't like I was gonna dump Julie for Peyton either. It was just, well, Peyton had shown me what talking with the girl was supposed to be like, and I kept making comparisons between them. My world ended on a Tuesday, and we were talking, and I don't even remember what we were talking about. And then she coughed. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm <coughs> good. I just need to get a drink. <coughs> Where are your parents? I don't know. Payton! Payton! Payton, wake up! 
I don't know how long I yelled and screamed, hoping her parents would hear me through her speakers and help. I didn't even know where she lived. She could be all the way in Alaska. I wasn't going to be any help from Florida. So I screamed and prayed and screamed. Peyton! When her mom got to her, she closed the computer, and I lost my one connection to the girl in the bubble. I didn't know what happened to Peyton. I logged online every chance I got. I tried calling her and got no answer. I broke up with Julie. Three weeks, four days, and six hours later, the last thing I wanted to do was go to prom, but I forced myself to because I could still go, even though my girl in the bubble couldn't. That's when my world began again. Peyton, you're you're alive? Yeah, I'm alive. When your mom when you passed out and your your mom came in, I thought I know, I'm sorry. She took me to the hospital and I got a lung transplant and they had me on so many painkillers <clears throat> I could hardly keep my eyes open. But you're okay now. You're healthy? That's a horse. No more bubble for me. Hey, why are you in a suit? Oh, uh, well, it's prom tonight, and I knew you'd kill me if I didn't go. Well, you better get going. Julie would kill you if you made her late. Um, I broke up with Julie. Don't worry, though. She's going to prom with the varsity quarterback. Well, you don't want to be late. You better get going. And I got all I need right here. <laughs>